Just hours after the nice delicious meal you have enjoyed, the body starts telling a different tale. You suffer a fever, abdominal pains, nausea and even vomit. Your mind races to the food you had previously eaten. Then you realize it is food poisoning. The vomiting and the diarrhea is the body's response of eliminating the toxin. It's trying to clear this toxin out of the system as fast as possible. The issue is that when these toxins enter the, the, the intestine, the stomach, they can affect only the, the lining of the stomach or the toxins can even penetrate deeper into the bloodstream. And that's why you feel this nausea and vomiting and what. The first thing that will come to one's mind is the unhygienic way in which the food could have been prepared. But it does not always have to be unhygienic. Bacteria in food can be transmitted in several ways other than the handling of food. You know, just imagine you stored your food very well and the electricity went off for like two hours. Yeah. That food becomes our potential, even if it looks clean in the container. But as I told you, it is organisms. They may not be there by the time you eat the food, but the toxins are there. High-risk foods such as chicken, duck and other poultry, fish, raw meat products, unpasteurized milk or goat milk, eggs and gravies attract bacteria very fast. Sometimes, even if they still look and smell fine, they have already attracted the bacteria. Cooking will only subdue the bacteria, but the toxins produced by the bacteria will remain potent enough to be life-threatening. It can be the organism itself growing in your stomach. One minute and another. But it may be the organism which had already produced toxins in the food, that even if it had died away from warming the food, especially these leftover foods or these refrigerated foods, you just want to warm it or can the foods, you know, you trust it so much, you don't know how long it has been there, and you warm it, the toxin is already there. So either the toxin produced by the organism or the organism itself can cause those symptoms. Recently in Mitiana, a child died and seven other family members suffered food poisoning after sharing a meal of fish. The fish could have had deadly bacteria. The issue with the fish is that it is easily it's one of the easily uh, nutritious food for organisms. You know, and it, first of all, the nature of fish, it goes bad quickly. And I told you the, the principle that it can go bad now. The, organ, the bacteria is there, it produces the toxins. Yeah? You cook the food, you know, now, now, now you don't know. You cook it to kill the bacteria. But you can't, you haven't reached the temperatures which the nature the toxins. The reaction of the body to the food poison depends on one immune system. To some, it can easily be brushed off, but to others, one might end up admitted or in the worst scenario, death could occur. Chopping boards, knives and plates for raw and cooked products may bring about contamination. When high-risk foods such as raw chicken, thaw in a refrigerator, when placed in contact with cooked meat, the bacteria from the raw chicken could contaminate the cooked meat. Cook food thoroughly. In most cases, unless otherwise, avoid leftovers. You know, and this year we are really refrigerated. If this is this semi-processed food, sausages, you know, those things, cook them well. Because also sometimes during the process of making these sausages, you don't you know. With the organs in there. So you cook them well. If it comes to parties now where you don't have control over the food process, you, know, you can be selective. Since body reactions to the food poison are different, doctors advise the affected parties to seek medical attention immediately. Irene Namialo, NTV.